What's up everyone, it's Uncle Stan Bonner here and I need to show you all something. So you guys know about the perk Nowhere to Hide, where it shows a survivor standing within 24 meters of my position for 5 seconds. At first, I thought the perk would show survivors near the 24 meter radius of the kick gen, but it actually is the 24 meter radius of the killer for 5 seconds. This recent hotfix is added in the notes, fixed an issue that caused Lethal Pursuer's additional aura reveal time to fail to apply to the Nowhere to Hide perk, meaning that Lethal Pursuer can pair with Nowhere to Hide to increase the timer by 7 seconds. Nowhere to Hide got a secret buff when lethal is included, which is why I'm going to play a Wraith game using Windstorm and Shadow Dance add-ons, both increasing my movement speed and gen kicking speed using Nowhere to Hide and Lethal Pursuer. All these will give me enough time to kick a gen and move away quick enough to find other survivors around me. I'm also going to run Eruption and Bamboozle in order to give myself more pressure and value for kicking gens as well. That being said, it's time to show you all the secret buff to Nowhere to Hide. Alright, let's just get this going. Hopefully this actually works out pretty well. I mean, the only thing I, I could just do is if I try to play off a 3 gen instantly, this build can just be totally fine. But I don't want to bore myself too hard. Hopefully like I, got, I have like a perfect plan in mind. I can just do this. The thing I kind of hate though is like I, I have to play a bit more of hit and run. Do this first and... Bro. She had balanced landing. Or she actually has distortion. I couldn't even see them. That's actually crazy. Or no, maybe because it was, it was like really, really close by. What's going on, Tony? Ooh. If I had a thing. If I had enduring, that would have been kind of nice. I can just play this normally, then hope to deer. Oh, she has bounce landing. We can just swing immediately. And we got eruption value on top of it, which is cool. Yeah, now this, this build on anybody is actually good enough, but if you take off Bamboozle and probably put like another slowdown perk, that would actually be kind of fine. I'm not going to like focus too hard into this game, because remember, I'm running like a build like this though, technically. I want to just uh, wake this off a little bit. Uh, Can I hold him right here? Oh, no, he's just like holding it. No, oh, never mind. Problem solved. I was going to try to use Pain Resonance, though, instead of, like, uh, Bamboozle. But if I did Pain Resonance, that actually wouldn't have been necessary, because, like, I don't have Agitation. I'm probably not going to hook the right spot, though. Although Pain Resonance would have actually went in, like, very, very handy right here. I'm not even going to try uh, to stealth this out. I want to just uh, go for the swing and probably kick another gem if possible. They have, like, a really, really good pallet setup here, though. Like, I guess what I could do is probably go this way. They could also blind me here, too. I'm not surprised. Oh, I got stuck. Why are they literally just healing right here? Oh god, that was actually kind of awkward though, because I can just basically have everyone and I'm already all set. I think what I'm just going to do is like, probably kick a gen. I don't even know if kicking a gen is a good idea. Nah, fuck it, I need to just go for the pickup. I'm wasting more time and everyone else is injured, so like this is just massive value for me. to pick this out and we are all set unless yeah no one's here yeah we're still chilling just go back right here i mean it's 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 cool if you, if you, it's it's cool for you guys like usually spam but like don't spam it like so much unless like if because like i don't, I don't want to like usually miss like anyone's uh, anyone's like messages in chat as well so i don't i don't miss out on that though i never really noticed the gen is the gen regressing? Oh no, wait, the gen the gen's was regressing earlier, but like I already just had it go down to zero. That's a fat shaming spot. Oh god. That is tragic, man. Alright, nowhere to hide already shows me the right here. We can catch up to them quickly. They're not trying to burn me. Well, that's kind of a rip to the flashlight. I wouldn't just break this pallet early. Actually, you know what? I don't even care. I can just hit them right here on the spot. This should be quick. One, two. There we go. You should just say one, two, three, but one, two is probably good enough because I thought they were just going to dead hard there. They usually dead hard once after I already know they have dead hard. But I actually cannot even tell if they have dead hard. Hey, what's going on, Franklin? It's my favorite streamer. Thank you. I hope, uh, hope you've been doing very well yourself. 
there's no gen progress there. What in the world? And like no one's even working on like any gens at all. Except for this one. Oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. Let's just do this for eruption. Back away right here. And then go straight for the Steve, because the Steve is like an easier catch for me. Oh, that is if I could get to the doorway here. Perfect. That's also why I put the windstorm, so at least it, it, it'd be like very quick for me to kick the gen and then just go to someone else. The good, the good part about that, though, is making, like, a fuck ton of distance on top. Yeah, I guess they probably just decided now they didn't want to do gens anymore. Okay, this this game might definitely just go in my favor in this case. I have the shadow dance for that. Go right there, and I could probably go right here. Oh, yeah, I can. And she has a bounce. And the recyclable carton. Thank you for following. You just joined your first comp DVD team earlier. Have you experienced like doing a scrim with them, uh, frankly? Because man, I don't even think I've ever done my first ever scrim since way back. Is this? Yes, it is. Uh, lucky. It was, um, it was all right, though. The intro worked out kind of fine. All right, let's do this. Is anybody here? It's like seven seconds of uh, nowhere to hide. But no one's there at all. I think the problem is like no one's literally doing any gens. Oh, and that sounds good, Dev. Yeah, like, I, I think no one just, everyone just decided, you know, why forget the gens, they can go do themselves. So, without even any idea, this, this build already has value. But it is kind of nice having the, um, like, the tracking, though. The tracking is, like, the best part. Although, with, like, Wraith, it's, it's, it's already good enough, or whatever it is. It's for being such a positive person. Yo, thank you, Carton. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I know, like, most of the times I can I can actually, like, keep it very chill whenever I play a killer. And other times I have, like, usually bad days. But I always like to force it to, like, just, you know, keep, keep like, a really good mind. And, and then just, like, kind of hold my cool for the most part when I'm playing. Yeah, I actually don't even know why they're not doing any gens. I don't even think it has to do with, like, the perks. Or maybe it, it does have to do with the perks. I am so bad. Okay, much better. And I'm all ears rigged with a couple weeks ago when you had shadow stuff. <laughs> Loki, that is kind of deserving, though. But, I mean, like, I'm all ears on Wraith. I never... You don't really expect someone to run I'm all ears anyways. You probably just run that add-on that shows auras anyways, and you're just kind of just chilling. They don't finish that gen because it's far away. I want to hit them first and then go back to the gen. Oh, my God. I actually... With that, I kind of think that was auto-aim, but... Yeah, these guys are just kind of calling it quits at this point. I'll do this first and foremost. No balance landing. Uh, we can easily hit her right here. Yeah, because that pallet's like very unsafe. It's too bad we don't have Shadowborn, but if I play like an M1 killer, I don't even need Shadowborn ever. It, it, it's just very, very unnecessary though, in my opinion. Anything like I probably with like Billy or Nurse, I totally would run Shadowborn in a heartbeat. Maybe even Oni, though, but I don't really play Oni as much, but, eh, who knows. At this, okay, yeah, like, I don't even have to say anything. At this rate, they kind of just, they're, they're already just going to throw the game. Because now, like, I already have a three gen right here. And even if they pop both of those gens, they're still screwed. It's like, it's sorry, like a 3v1. A banger build? When you say a banger build, define that for me, which would like, a good build, a crazy build, a meta build, like, all that stuff. Just uh, play this out because this, this will just be very quick for me. Oh, I have Bam. I almost forgot I was using Bam. <laughs> I should have done that like way sooner, but we barely have seen. Oh, I already know about that. And we barely seen a thing. Other stuff. I didn't even know I had Bam, but he also makes it to the pallet. The crazy build. Or I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. I'll definitely think of something, alright? The Steve actually is doing the right thing. He's playing this chase like insanely well. Honestly, I, I, I definitely can give him that because like they were kind of throwing like way earlier. There we go. They make the window. The, the window's the only thing they can use right here though. Or that's a dedicated grab. Oh god, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Why does that have to happen to me, man? Uh, but I, I I actually kind of went for the grab so late there too. Tragic. There we go. People see these uh, see this build and then they just start ba uh, banging, obviously. Something like that. I, I I have an idea. I know exactly what build I'm gonna do. 
I should also break this. No, oh, no, I already broke that pallet. Yeah, it doesn't even matter what just happens because, like, the game is just pretty much over. I don't know why they weren't even, like, working on gens at all, though. Like, it, they've been barely touching them. They've been mostly just taking hits. And I also didn't really see anybody trying to go for flashlights. So I felt a little weird. Oh, wait, they actually make that gen. But even if they pop, like, those two gens, the game is just, like, kind of unwinnable on their end. Because I already have a three gen regardless of uh, what's happening here. So I don't even have to kick any gens. I can just pick them up and just get this out of the way. Is less way than puzzles because the restrictions, no duplicate perks, and also no OP items and add-ons. That's the best part about comp, though. Because co comp is way more balanced than the normal DVD. Because, like, normal DVD, just, there really is no balance. Dealing with, like, going against multiple dead hearts, uh, stacked medkits, like, everyone running medkits repeatedly. People forcing, like, map offerings, even if the map is, like, incredibly strong. Yeah, it's, it's very, very different, though. I'll try to go for it right here. Oh, no. Oh my god, bro! That is so weird. I could have sworn I hit the space bar when that happened too. Like I literally hit, I literally hit the space bar, and then the game just said like completely no shit. Oh well though. I guess it was still a good game despite like all of that. But oh my god, I guess I got shit on. Wait, let me see what they were using. Um. Oh, they had Soul Survivor. That probably explains why I couldn't really see them before. I never really understood. Oh, no, wait. Now I understand this, man, because I actually didn't really see her as much, uh, like, a little later. They had Lightweight and Overcome, which I totally didn't even expect. Yeah, no one even, no one even had Distortion. I was wrong about that, though. 